Hello, and welcome to a new episode. Today, I will be risking my life in an attempt to clean the roof of my house. But first, I want to back up a bit, and sketch a bit of a timeline. As you can tell by the lovely weather, I recorded myself cleaning the roof during the summer. I visited the house for the first time in December of 2021, during the first snowfall of that season. When checking out the inside, I noticed the roof was leaking in a few places. When my friends and I stopped by to have another look the day after, we could see that the shape of the roof looked quite okay, but that it was completely covered in moss. I eventually ended up purchasing the house in May of 2022, and I spent the entirety of the following summer there. Of that summer, I spent the first few weeks getting the basics like power, water and sanitation in order. The remainder of the summer, I spent most of my time drinking wine, eating cheese and strolling along flea markets with my friends and family. The leaking roof was in the back of my mind most of the time, but came to the forefront one night when it started raining. It didn't only rain outside, but also inside. I had to get back to the Netherlands after summer for work and I didn't really feel comfortable leaving my house like this, with fall and more rain approaching. So I had to figure out how to leave my house behind with peace of mind. day three of uh, cleaning the roof as you can see I've, I've done quite a bit but I think it's like 20% or 15% at most of the entire roof surface and I've already spent quite some hours on there um, so it's not really going as fast as I am hoping it is um, and I think it's mostly because of the method I'm using I'm swiping with the a coarse brush but with very short bristles and with a very soft brush so I'll have to which makes sure uh, I have to loosen the moss with a screwdriver and that just takes way too much time so I found this um, this is a broom that was left here and it's it's quite coarse and has nice long bristles and has this really chunky handle made of oak and I think this will um, get everything loose in once and I'm hoping it, it will go a lot faster with this but we'll see
it's again a very hot day today. Um, it's one of the last days before I'm going back to the Netherlands. Um, I think the most important thing I still want to do here um, before I leave is make sure the roof is clean and fix whatever leaks I can find. Um, I've been working on the roof for a couple of days, um, cleaning off the moss uh, and, and replacing tiles that are uh, have broken. And it's, it's quite fun. The roof, the way it works, is actually quite fascinating uh, with the tiles. Um, I'll draw the roof so that I can explain a bit what I already did. So we have the roof over the big house right here. Um, and then there's the smaller house. Right here. Um, so this is the bigger house, this is the part on the left, and the smaller house, the part on the right. And this is the part that I already cleaned. Um, I'm not really sure if it shows on camera, but there's still some tiles that are uh, open. I'm going to replace those. And I still need to, I've cleaned the four upper rows of this part of the roof. So this part. And I still need to do this and this and this. Uh, this is the um, the little shed, um, which is the only part of the roof that's actually collapsing. That doesn't really matter because I don't need that roof anyway. And I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, I don't really have time to do anything about it. Um, and this roof, like on the, the new house, between here has been replaced in 1980. Uh, I can tell because the, the tiles that are on there, they've got a date stamped into it. Um, right here, it says 1980. And I think the old roof, I believe I saw on one of the tiles, 44. So I assume it's from the 1940s, but I, I really have no idea. Um, and there's a this these kind of tiles there are on this part of the roof and also on the shed. I think that's collapsing, so they only replaced this roof in in 1980. And it's quite a good shape. I only found one tile up until now that was actually broken, and a couple of others that just had chips off it. Um, and they're a bit different. You can see there's a double groove in this one and a single groove in this. And I believe the size, I think this is a bit wider than that one as well. Um, they're quite comparable for the rest. Um, and I think it's, it's really nice how these work. I mean, I never put that much thought in it, but the roof is just, consists of these tiles that just lay there uh, they're not fixed at all um, they have these points that stick out and they overlap obviously because there are tiles and the, the points they just stick in here um, and if you stack them all up like you make a complete roof it's watertight the water runs down these uh, canals let's call them um, you know might drip in between here and run down onto the next tile and tile by tile will, will run to the floor. Um, and why I want to get the moss off is actually two reasons. I mean, it looks cute, the moss, but um, you know they, they have these big clumps that grow on the tiles, um, which obviously, obviously stops the water from f being able to flow down the canals. So sometimes it drips over the edge of the tile and drips inside. And what it also does is it holds a lot of moist and then when it starts freezing, it, it cracks the tiles, so it makes them porous and it's just better to, to get them off to make sure the water keeps flowing because you know, the roof only works if it's just one complete um, canal, you know, by all these tiles uh, added together. Um, I have, I, I used to have one tile that was made of glass. In, uh, in this roof right here and it just gives off 
gets through a, a little light. Uh, it gets through a little light, but it's 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 beautiful. The tile is a bit bluish, so it's a bit of a bluish light on the inside, and it looks really nice. So I was at an antique shop a while ago, about, uh, bought a couple of extra of these tiles, and then uh, my friend Simon, who was with me, started researching these tiles, and um, I don't know, he found out that they're poured. So the glass is poured in a mold. Um, this is an example of a tile, it's comparable to this one, as you can see. Um, and you know, if you look at it closely, you can see the, the, the evidence of the fact that it's poured. Um, it really looks beautiful and I don't know how old these are, but I reckon they're really old. Um, and so I, I got three of them or three extra ones so four in total and I thought well I want more so I started researching on Le Bon Coin which is the the French eBay and I found a couple of other ones went over to this guy the other day um, and he had like a stack of I think about 40 of them and I wanted to buy as much as my um, cash money would uh, would get me but then I thought I saw that he had these um, these other tiles which go right on top uh, which I need because the uh, I have like six of them that are absolutely shattered they're um, on this on this point right here and this is a big source of leak so I'm, I'm glad I'm glad he had those as well because I uh, I'll be able to replace a couple of them um, and I bought six so I had only a couple of euros left to buy some more of these glass tiles and then I also broke one in the car because I drive like an idiot which I really regret but anyway um, he, had a, he had two different types well he had a lot of different shapes but they were like the white transparent ones and these purplish ones and I told him I want the purple ones because I like the light they give off and he said well it's uh, decoloration by UV light um, which I really found fascinating because I don't I didn't even know glass could change color because of UV radiation but uh, apparently it does and some some of them some of the ones I bought they have more decoloration than others so for example this one has a lot of decoloration and this one uh, A bit less um, and these are the ones that I've got now this is gonna go on the, the roof of the smaller house and these I'm gonna put on the roof of the bigger house after I've cleaned it and talking about cleaning the roof I, I think I spent like eight hours already on just cleaning this part um, and I tried to do it really thoroughly so I was uh, prying a screwdriver in between the tiles to get all of the bits of moss gone but that just takes way too much time um, I won't be able to do the rest of the roof that way so I found out that the best alternative is with this broom it's a very uh, decent one with an oak handle otherwise square shape but um, it has these very coarse brushes but as you can see I think it's lost more than half of its brushes so I went out and got a new brush I think it's the exact same model as the one that's on there except these bolts are hexagonal and the ones on here are square shaped which makes you think it's really old but it's it's lovely that it still works so well uh, except it's not really able to uh, maintain its brushes So, while you watch me replace the brush on the broom, I want to thank you for listening to my lecture about roof tiles and apologize for my slips of the tongue. I mean, it's not easy. Broom, brush, bristles. Anyway, in the first part of this dip ditch, I mostly messed about to clean the first part of the roof. In the second part, I'm going to need to rush in order to finish cleaning the bigger roof and replacing the broken tiles in that part. I will find myself challenged by the scorching sun heaps of moss and a ticking clock. 
Subscribe to my channel if you want to know whether this wonderful new brush will help me get the entire roof in order in time.